Moore, Oklahoma, Joplin, Missouri, Gerald, Texas. Some of the most violent, long-tracking tornadoes in United States history have been spawned by the same atmospheric setup, the dry line. While cold and warm fronts separate air masses of different temperatures, dry lines separate air masses of different moisture levels. To the west of the dry line is dry, hot air from the deserts of the southwest. East of the dry line is warm, humid air that streams from the Gulf of Mexico. This setup is common in Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas, and can often trigger severe weather in the spring and summer. When a low moves across the region, it forces the two conflicting air masses to clash. At the surface, we have convergence where winds come together and force an upwards motion. This causes lift, which is crucial for thunderstorm formation. Another vital ingredient for thunderstorms is instability. The dry air from higher elevations is able to overrun the moist, buoyant air, making the atmosphere unstable. This instability can enhance the severity of a thunderstorm. With the lift, instability, and moisture in place, supercell thunderstorms develop just ahead of the dry line boundary. These storms are strong, individual storms that can produce damaging winds, large hail, and dangerous tornadoes. Thankfully, dry lines are well studied and forecasted, which can often result in severe thunderstorm or tornado watches being issued well before these dangerous storms even begin. Here on Weather Nation, we will always keep you up to date on the latest forecasts and watches for your area. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Lucy Bergman.